Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Continuing our conversation about uh, restoring prosperity, let's talk a bit about welfare versus workfare. And nobody knows this topic better than our next guest, my friend Bill Bennett, former U.S. Education Secretary and author of The Book of Virtues. He has a new edition out. Bill Bennett, thank you ever so much for helping us. Um, you bet. I, I mean, we have talked to show um, the numbers are down, the GDP is down, all that stuff. We're not as prosperous as we used to be. It doesn't speak well of which direction the country is going. But one of the problems is there doesn't seem to be much interest these days in working, which used to be the heart and soul of America. Right. And I want to get your thoughts on it. What are the virtues of work, Mr. Bill Bennett? All right. First, two emendations, if I can. Your theme is to drift towards socialism. Uh, the American people may not approve of it, but the next generation does. Mm. For the first time, Larry, two years ago, more young people thought socialism was better than capitalism. Mm. Uh, second, it's being taught in our schools. Uh, and so that's not a drift. That's a push. Mm. It's not just at Davos. It's in the universities. And sad to say, many in our schools uh, or in many of our schools. Look, work. Work is, a, is, a, is an incredibly important thing. Uh, Justice Holmes said once, uh, the man who's missed the pleasure of work, of a job well done, completed and finished, has missed one of the great pleasures of life. Uh, but we have demeaned work. Uh, we had the COVID problem, and then a lot of people got used to staying home and not working. We have seven and a half million men in this country, aged 25 to 55, able-bodied, who are not looking for work. What are they doing? Uh, they're uh, watching the screen all day, not your screen, uh, but uh, other things, video games, a lot of it, a lot of them are on drugs, no interest in working. You used the phrase before, government inflates. You're absolutely right. But in this case, Larry, I think government deflates uh, as aspiration uh, because some of these folks are living on these subsidies from government, which can get up into the 40s, 50s, and $60,000 range. That can deflate the interest in work. Plus, if we don't teach how important work is mm. to self-respect, to happiness, um, uh, to family, uh, we're not teaching what we're supposed to. You know, that last last point it really is, to me, so important. Uh, I mean, we could go through the economics of this, and you're absolutely right. The government is providing all manner of welfare, food stamps, Medicaid. You don't have to work to continue to receive that. Right, right. But the, I, you know... Working is good for the soul. Working gives you dignity. Working you keeps families together. Working helps communities to prosper. The value of work and the virtue of work should stand on its own, Bill Bennett. And there's just not enough discussion of this. And I dare say the Bidens in Washington are outright opposed to it. Yeah, right. And it teaches kids um, about the importance of work. You know, you don't have to have a curriculum about it. Uh, when people, uh, when kids see their dads coming home, their moms coming home and they're tired, they realize that they're doing that for a reason uh, and it matters to them. I don't think we ever gave an explicit lesson about work. Uh, we did follow that allowance thing, at least, at least for a while, <laughs> that Kellyanne was right. talking about. But they saw us work and they saw how important it was for us to work. Uh, and what we got out of it. And so they're they're both working. By the way, one of them, uh, he and his young wife left California for Texas. Guess why? You know, one last statistic. Mm. Highest, one of the highest tax rates in the country, California. They got a $30 million, $25, $30 million deficit. No taxes in the state of Texas. No state taxes. They got a $30 million surplus. Hello? Yeah, I get that. No, no. Perfect free market capitalism. The Laffer curve is alive and well. But, you know, your book on virtues um, is so important. And I'm just worried we're losing the virtues story. We're you know, moving away from religion. There is no God of any kind in our lives. There's no right. moral responsibilities. Um, I don't want to be prudish about it, Bill, but as an old guy, we're both two old guys talking about this. Somehow or other, I know it's not good. It's just not good. Yeah, but, you know, if you talk to young people about this straight and honestly, like that guy in Parliament did, or in the Cambridge debate did, the yeah. Oxford debate, sorry, mm. the other day, and he said, you know, talk to them directly, candidly, explain to them, uh, you know, they'll listen. Uh, they may disregard it first because they're getting a lot of other stuff in their ears. 
but uh, they'll listen. By the way, uh, I, I got to live at home. That book was uh, co-edited by my wife, Elaine Bennett. Yes. Uh, so uh, yes. Let's, let's be clear on that. Credit, credit must be given. But you're right. Um, you know, uh, don't discredit the old. We have the, they can learn from us. And we're not allowed to surrender in the presence of the young. We cannot say, we don't know what to do. It's a brave new world, all this technology. You know, good luck. Uh, we, we don't know anything about it. We have to engage them and teach them what we know. Mm. Words where it said, what we have loved, others will love, but we must teach them how. All right. Bill Bennett, great message. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very much. My best always, to Elaine. As always, thank you, Larry. My very best to Elaine, thank for you. heaven's sakes. All right, thanks. Yeah.